Hey guys, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Jonathan Kelly. This is actually one of my favorite times of the year. I love going up north, I love catching some big smallies, and as we start approaching that time of the year where we start getting colder and colder and colder, we're eventually gonna run into some ice. So that means, you know, fishing is gonna get a lot tougher for some people, but you know, I always like to utilize a few tactics that keeps me on the fish and keeps putting fish in the boat time in and time out. So right here I have a 3.5 inch swim bait on an owner ball head. It's a pretty big ball head as you can see. I'll go from a 3 8 to a half ounce and that might sound like a lot for a small swim bait but this time of year as we get closer and closer to that ice starting and the ice starting to form that water is going to get real cold so that means those smallmouth are going to start getting deeper and deeper and deeper. So anytime I'm out I'm very taking my time to utilize my electronics and really keen in on where those fish are and it's going to continue to get deeper and deeper so it's important to have a bait heavy enough to get the bait down to where those fish are going I'll utilize this bait anywhere from about 15 to 35 feet as we start getting to the point where we start seeing some ice so now we're talking cold temperatures you know I'm going to be out fishing I'm going to be bundled up in my blackfish gear there's going to be some hats on some gloves I'm going to have some turtlenecks and everything I'm going to try to stay as warm as possible because I want to be able to keep putting fish in the boat until that season's completely over up north so using this right here this ball head swim bait I can cover a lot of water and still keep a moving presentation while fishing for some fish that are really not trying to feed much anymore because their their deer is over. They about fed up as much as they wanted to and it's time for them to go into hibernation but this is a good way to trick some of those bass especially some big ones that are still willing to bite. So what I do with this bait is I'll try to target areas where I can find where those fish are setting up and that's going to be a depth. You know, for the most part, if you can figure out what depth they are in that time of the year, they're always going to be in that depth, and that's important for using your electronics. If I can find that fish, it's going to be in 22 feet of water. If I stay in 22 feet with this ball head swim bait, I will be able to put this bait around a lot of fish. So what I do is if I find that they're grouped up in 22 feet, I'll try to find, you know, hard bottom banks, rocky banks, or anywhere where that deep water pushes up closer to those banks that has you know, say 22 feet of water and I will constantly fish this ball head swim bait up and down that bank where those fish are gonna start, you know, getting into their winter pattern. They might just shift a little further off that bank into that 30, 35, 40 foot zone for when the ice does come. So it's important to really utilize where they're gonna be right before that ice happens. And this bait is very good for it because what I do is I will slow roll it on the bottom to the point where I've reeled it slower than any bait that I could possibly ever think that I would throw on my boat. What I do there, I'll reel it very, very slow on the bottom and I'll stop it to make sure it's still on the bottom. And sometimes you'll bring it off the bottom and that's important to really feel it go back to the bottom. Once it goes back to the bottom, you go back to a very slow and steady retrieve once again. Now what this does is this bait is just gonna continue on the bottom and go just like this. And what it's gonna do is gonna allow some of those fish that are sitting right on the bottom as the winter time approaches to really keen in on this bait. They're gonna grab it, they're gonna hold on to it, and you're almost gonna be hooking the fish without even setting the hook because of how deep it is and your slow presentation. Those fish are gonna get the entire bait and they're basically gonna hook themselves. I switch to a crankbait rod, which is very important. I throw anywhere from a seven to a seven foot six medium action crankbait rod because like I said you really don't have to hook these fish that time of the year if they want it and you're giving them that slow presentation they're going to get the bait completely and they're almost always hooked in the roof of the mouth when you do use a very good ball head jig like the owner like I have right here so check it out give it a try next time you do hit the water when we get into that cold time of the year they will key in on the swim bait you just have to make sure you fish it very slow and very low that's very important you know it will come off the bottom and it's important to keep it on the bottom that's how you're going to get the bites sometimes switching to a lighter line will be key i'll run 10 pound test on this bait right here just because it allows me to keep the bait on the bottom the longest and the most any time i go heavier i found myself bringing the bait too far up off the bottom which in that time of the year those fish are pretty much glued to the bottom so you want to keep something that stays on the bottom as long as possible